Oh, it's on. Okay. <laughs> so, um, this is making biodiesel from waste, hopefully, cooking oil uh, with methanol and also potassium hydroxide. So, all you need to do is just to weigh 4 grams of potassium hydroxide, uh, uh, 40 milliliter of methanol, but because I want to yield more biodiesel, I add slightly more, I multiply it by 2, so 80 milliliter of methanol. So, Let's do it. So the first step is basically to dissolve our catalyst, which is potassium hydroxide in our methanol. So potassium hydroxide is in solid form. So make sure you have your full protection, such as um, gloves, because you don't want that base to eat your skin. So seal it. Okay. Now remember, this is going to produce some um, heat and pressure inside the messenger. So just make sure that if you think it's going to be really warmed up, you release some pressure and then continue. <laughs> this is what they do. They want to make it fast. Who are they? I don't know. The heat is too strong today. It's kind of dry in the skin. <gasps> this is for real so no more solid underneath there so uh, basically all the potassium hydroxide has been dissolved okay so which is good that's what we want that's the preparation <laughs> so next step is we're going to take um, 200 milliliter of our cooking oil used cooking oil um, you fry something you do fry something you have to filter those dust or other any other contaminations out you just want to take the oil and what you call you need to do is just to add them. Okay, when you add them, they're supposed to produce some kind of bubble inside. That's emulsion, don't worry about it. It's completely normal. Okay, just add all of them. And then you seal it. This is a challenging part. You're gonna have to shake this for at least 10 minutes. So you're gonna, um, after 10 minutes or, or more, you're gonna leave it sealed like that until they separate themselves. So, to become something like this okay so this is the final product after 10 minutes now you won't be able to see the separations here because uh, of the conical flask but if you turn this like that you will be able to see the lower part here the lower face the clear one it's that's the glycerin we don't want glycerin the cloudy part is the biodiesel so we're going to decline our biodiesel to another flask and we're going to start washing it Take another flask, open that up, okay, and slowly just decant it. There are so many ways of separating these two, but I'm going to use the easiest one, which is just decanting the upper phase, upper layer, which is the biodiesel. So slowly and carefully just transfer the upper layer. Now this biodiesel is called good biodiesel. It's kind of not very pure. We also have some unreacted methanol in the biofeed. And we have to remove that methanol in biodiesel to get a pure biodiesel. How do we do that? We're going to use hot water. Okay. Now this hot water is to dissolve methanol which is in uh, which is dissolved in our meth uh, in our biodiesel. So hot water will dissolve our methanol and hot water will stay at the lower part. Biodiesel will stay on top because biodiesel is less dense than our water. So slowly just Pour in our hot water very slowly and gently now if you produce cloudy solution in here say like how cloudy the first step was then you might as well just restart the whole process because that's gonna take ages to separate now if you do that slowly basically that hot water will dissolve methanol in our biodiesel so the methanol now is with water down here and up here will be our pure biodiesel. Of course, one step of washing is not going to purify our biodiesel. We're going to transfer that biodiesel to another flask and do the same steps again. <clears throat> do the same steps again uh, by using hot water to continue washing that biodiesel until you obtain a clear biodiesel. Not this one. That's not clear. This one. So it's kind of clear. Yeah. And we can start burning it. Let's see if it actually catches fire. There you 
go. Is it started? Oh, good. Very good. So now it's just we want to test how big the flame is going to be and what's the color of that thing. So this is how we do it. If you want to burn bio diesel or any diesel, it's actually it's really hard. You just burn liquid because any flammable things, they're flammable because they're vaporized easily. So bio diesel is also kind of flammable, but it has to be vaporized. So we need a sprayer to vaporize it. You should be getting that kind of flame. See that? Did you see that? Can you see it? Yeah. Thank you. That's the flame. So we spray it if you want to vaporize uh, biodiesel, and you'll get that. 